What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 254 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Thompson. How is it? Jim, I came in. Ah, welcome back to the good show. WWF is back in business, and we're ready to take the fight to WCW Night Show. And now when I was booking the show, and Chad went pissed, and he doesn't know what I did. He doesn't know. He has no idea. Oh, correct. Correct, I, I don't. I could steal some of his guys. He would know I have no idea. I, I'd be confused, but you're right. I'm going to find out if there's any WCW Night Show guys on this show. Let's get into it. Chad, we start off the pre-show. With Jeff Jarrett running into Big Show's arms. <laughs> You're back, buddy! Yeah. Remember, if you remember a couple weeks ago, Bob Holly dropped Jeff Jarrett right on his fucking head and fractured his skull. People thought he would never be able to walk, let alone wrestle again. But here he is two weeks later. And he's in the, he's in the match tonight, Jim. Oh, hell yeah. So it's against Bob Holly. Yes, sir. Right here. Bob Holly gets beat in one minute. <laughs> With a flying drop kick. Jeff, K, Jeff Chad's back and better than ever, baby. It's his, <laughs> it's his win back from Bob Holly. Uh, we had another pre show match. Uh, Rhino and Edge here. A new picture well, for Edge. Is, I, I, looked like, I, thought, I thought he had red face paint at first. I was like, why is Edge looking like Sting? New New picture. Good picture. It's about time. Edge gets the win. Edge pulled on an 81, also 66. Also, these guys have great chemistry in their performances. Oh, hell yeah. The Rhino Edge, main event title, WrestleMania 21. Who knows? Oh, hell. Oh, it was Epico, not Carlito. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, Chad, I, I let you down here. <laughs> Farouk pins Carlito. Epico, oh no! Epico will get his comeuppance next week. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Chad. I got you. <laughs> in our pre-show main event, Mark Henry defeats D'Lo Brown in eight twelve with the, for the death from above. We had so many pre-show matches. Yeah, we gotta get more people on the card, Chad. <laughs> Let them work. We move on. Oh, man, here we go. Here we go. It's those three guys. Fucking arguing again, Chad. You know, it's Stasiak telling The Rock that he he beat him in the middle of the ring last week on Monday Night Raw. His own heart saying he never tapped out. It's The Rock saying, I, you know, I beat you at the SummerSlam. That's more important than beating you at a Raw. Who cares about a Raw, okay? All right, half these brain dead fucks are watching Night Raw anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> And Vince is, you know, Vince comes down the ring. He's like, there's only one way to settle this. I didn't put Vince in the angle. He says, tonight, all three of you guys have been complaining and fighting and arguing. He goes, no one can figure out who the true number one contender is for the championship. And Owen and, I mean, and, and Sean and Rock look at each other like, you, hey, Owen's not allowed to fucking fight anymore for the one-on-one. -on -one. That, that, that stipulation was made. They're, they're, they're tattling on Owen Hart, and Vince is like, shut up! I make the rules. I make the rules. You don't like what you like. You like what I tell you to like. Um, he says, no, if he wins this match tonight that I'm booking, it'll be Owen Hart versus you, Sean Stasiak, for the number one contendership for that world title tonight. And Rock's like, what the... The people, the people, and it's like, it doesn't matter what the people want. It matters what I want. And Dwayne, I wasn't finished. You're in that match too. One on one on one, a triple threat. The winner walks to Unforgiven, a number one contender, Chad. Be a far walk. I hope their feet don't hurt. A three man triple threat match. Who's going to come out the winner, Chad? On Stasiak, let's, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We start off the night with Ken Shamrock taking on Daddy's Little Princess, Shane McMahon. <laughs> uh, Ken Shamrock, you know, gets a win. And 10-29 with the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And then after the match, Mark Henry hits the oh, ring. Hell yeah. And just stares at Ken Shamrock. And Chad, do you remember, do you remember back in the day what Ken Shamrock would do? 
Uh, he would scream. Yeah. Ah! He got Mark Henry's face and did exactly what it is right here in this picture. Ah! <laughs> and Mark Henry slaps his titties and stuff. And these guys have a yelling match. Okay. Until they fade the commercial. And we move on with 71, Chad. Chad, a 71 with PJ, the game black. I know, Ultimo Dragon pulling out 71. Shut the fuck up. PJ Black defeats Ultimo Dragon in 10-03 by a pinfall. We move on to a five-on-five five match. It's Team TNA taking on a team of shitbags and Bob Holly. Oh, Bob Holly's <laughs> back. <laughs> and a poor match, a steel test, Dre Matthews, Sultan, and Tyson. Duh. Defeat. It's got to do funky in the Funk Boys. Godfather could catch me outside. A game up and Bob Holly. Ace Steel was head and shoulders above everyone else in this match, Jim. Hell yeah. Good for Ace Steel. Good for Ace Steel. I'm pushing Ace Steel to the moon. But after the match, Sushin Thunder Liger comes onto the uh the the uh the, the, the tight tron with a new mask, Chad. A new mask. A new mask. He went back to Japan and got a new mask. He's wearing the all black suit. All black. He means business. And he, he, he cuts a promo in Japanese and in subtitles it says, At Unforgiven, I come for you, I come for the belt, and I come for my mask. There it is. Jason Thunderlager coming back for his honor and his mask at Unforgiven. We move. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> go backstage and Booker T is not happy, Chad. Booker T is not happy. If you remember last week, he beat D'Lo Brown in the middle of the ring, one, two, three. And then after the match, Stone Cold came in, drank beer, hit him with the stunner, and left. And Booker T was left with a lot more questions, like, what the hell was that about? Steve, what the fuck was that about? And he goes to Vince for answers. He's like, Booker, I don't, I don't, I don't control Steve. You know how he is. He's just a, he's just a wild man. You know what? The, the, the only thing I can do, I can't ask Steve to calm it down. I can't ask Steve to not do it again. The only thing I can do is book matches and, and, and let you guys settle it man to man in the middle of the ring. So you know what? Next week, I'll just do that. I'll do, I'll do just that in a non-title match. It'll be Booker T, Stone Cold, to main event Monday Night Raw next week. And Booker T, oh, man. Booker T smiles, <laughs> rubs his hand. He's like, hell yeah. That's what I wanted to hear, and leaves. So Booker T, Stone Cold next week, not title. Huge. Hell yeah. Huge match. Huge. Oh, we move on to Billy Gunn and Road Animal, Road Warrior Animal, <laughs> Chad. Oh, here we go. And Explain this. What is the match between Billy Gunn and Road Warrior Animal? <laughs> they have a good match. Not really, in 63. Yes. Billy Gunn defeats Animal with a pile driver. And Billy Gunn, he's, he's gone off his rocker lately, you know? He's a, he beat up his old partner, Road Dog. He's beating up everyone in his path. So uh, he continues that beat down. And he continues to beat him down. Beat him down. <laughs> and and then a music hits. And it says, Oh, you didn't know? Burnt an end. What a rush. And out comes <laughs> Road Warrior Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Road Warrior Dog comes up and he's wearing these, Road Warrior Dog. He's got his dumbass hat, but he's got the shoulder pads with the spikes. Oh, Road Warrior Dog hits the ring and attacks Billy Gunn. Um so a little kayfabe, a little break in the a little shoot here, a little pow pow. Uh I I I, 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 I uh, softened the backstage rules a little bit. Um if you guys know WWF if um, someone has a fails a drug test or gets caught with steroids or anything bad, I fire them on the spot. We are no, you know, uh, we are strict on everything. And you know what? I, and I decided, hey, one day I'll let, I'll let them, you know, I'll cut back the rules. Okay, this was right before this Raw. And I did that before we went to the booking stage. And Road Warrior Hawk came in fucking hungover and wasted. So, as a good man, a good Christian man myself, I chickened him, got him out of there. So, you know what? Road Warrior Anna's here to, here to stay, and uh, now he's got Road Warrior Dog. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, this is a team now. This is a team now. 
Oh, we move on to our co-main event. It's Kurt Angle defeating Kane in 15 and 52. Forgot to put a promo here. This is all about the, the build-up to this match is Kurt Angle laughing. Um, and he's saying, I can beat Kane too. You know, I'm, oh, look at me. I'm Triple H. I can beat Kane. And Kurt Angle easily defeats Kane right here. So, uh, oh, no, the, the promo was right here. Yeah, I had it the whole time, right here. And there, big, Triple H comes out. He's bickering at Kurt Angle right after. Shawn Michaels comes in the minute. He's like, I'm sick of you two fighting. I'm sick of my, my best friend from back in the day, Shaw, Triple H fighting. I'm fighting my new friend, Kurt Angle. Okay? You know what? There's only one way to settle this, you two. Ba- Unforgiven. One-on-one. It's going to be the battle. It's going to be the Shawn Michaels friendship on a pole match. Kurt Angle. <laughs> Triple H. Shawn Michaels, guest referee. Someone's going to win my love. Someone's going to win my friendship. Someone's going to win my tag team rights. And the other one's going to find out why I'm called the heartbreak kid. And you know what? You know what? I'll even do you one better. You know what? Because pinfalls, anyone can get a, a, a quick pinfall. I don't want anyone to think that I'm cheating it by a fast pinfall, a quick whatever. Okay? Because you guys will still go one-on-one. But hanging f- 15 feet in the air... Will be a will be a ladder will be a, a suitcase a briefcase with a contract to a tag team uh, relationship with me. <laughs> <laughs> and Kurt Angle's like, all right, sick. And Triple H's just like, hey, babe, I'm not. Hey, that's cool. Your pies over here, Sean. All right, and we'll just skip this, and we can go win the tag team titles. You know, we can beat this weasel bag's ass. In. And John's like, no. My love and friendship will be in, uh, above you guys at Unforgiven, all right? So we got Triple H and Kurt Angle ladder match for the rights to Shawn Michaels, really. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, spice it up, all right? Never never seen yeah. that in TDW series, have you? I guess not. Mm. Um, I think this is the main event right here, Dred. Stasiak? Yeah. Owen? Rock? Rock. This is a banger match, Jen. It's a banger match. You'll I'm see. Excited to see it. 88. An exceptional match. The Rock drew with Sean Stasiak and Owen Hart in 20. When the referee was forced to rule this a contest, no contest. When all hell broke loose. There's no winner. Oh, no. That's the round of four way. There's no winner. What is gonna happen? Who is gonna face Eddie Guerrero at Unforgiven? Will there even be a title match? Have we ever ran a pay-per-view in one of these saves without a title match in it? World title match? I don't know. We might have to. Unforgiven might be that first. But we end the show there with the three top contenders all beating the ever-living ever lifting shit out of each other to end the show. Get an 88. Of course. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is, this is what we do. Blue numbers, baby. Blue numbers. Blue numbers. Blue numbers, e- numbers. Blue numbers equals green checks. And I hate to say it, but the, the good guys do it again. I don't even need to see Nitro. Don't even need to see Thunder. I already know. I already know. Chad, I'm sorry that you got to follow this up every week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you for episode. Uh, you, you good? <laughs> 254 Nitro. Chad, 254 Nitro. See you. 254 Nitro.